السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام. Uh, I am Salim. Uh, I am just a student. Uh, my question is, you said about the preacher who said I should have changed myself first. But how should we start by changing ourselves? Alhamdulillah. My young brother put forward a very relevant question. We have to change ourselves. So how we can change? Where should we start? Without any doubt, we have to start from the Quran. We have to start from the teachings of our dear Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Quran and our dear Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has given us guidelines to the entire gamut of human life. And Islam specifically teaches us that man has got a responsibility towards the Creator and towards himself, towards his wife and towards his kids, towards his parents and towards his relatives, towards his fellow beings, towards animals, towards nature. And unless and until, as per Islamic perspective, a man fails to discharge these obligations, that he is a failure in his life. So my dear friend, we had to read Quran, understand its meaning, read the sayings, understand the sayings of our dear Prophet, and follow that in our life. And we should understand one thing. Our aim for wealth has eclipsed everything. If we are after our years up past, if a person is a failure as a father, failure as a brother, Failure as a husband, failure as a son, failure as a relative, failure as a friend, failure as a fellow being, then he is a failure before Almighty God. And if he is a failure before Almighty God, then definitely he is a failure in this world and in the world hereafter. So as a beginning, I'll tell you, have a conviction that there is God, and have a conviction that Allah will resurrect us after we have become dust in our graves. And we will be held accountable for each and every one of our actions. If we have got that conviction, naturally the change will come. To conclude, go to Quran and go to the sayings of our dear Prophet Let that be the beginning of change.